Next chat. Oh my god, look at this kitty kiss the next kitty. Fuck love. Every time I talk about I don't know who hurt you. you. Think about me or the Netflix show. The Netflix show you. How come I said fuck your tick about me for when you no, body love? Two, Fuck up. Moa, watch it over from top. I would not. I <laughs> mean, I look on. Yeah. You're despicable. Daniel, you're always burping on the podcast now. That burp was about 10 persons burp. Actually, something like the time Kim Moon said when she belched in her house and her auntie asked her which one broke in. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine somebody breaking into your house just to melt? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. Like, you know, oh me. my god, that never have a nice sound. Imagine, you know? But Kimon actually breaks like a big man for you. So. <laughs> big up myself, Kimon. She really does. I can't even defend my friend. Big up myself too for making it into 2020. <sighs> no, sir. Yeah, even though the burp almost killed me a while ago. I feel like I overeat. Then here. You want me a box down Because I've been wings, eating then? for the last hour because I eat my Popeye's she. I come up here, come eat out your KFC. I eat chips, I eat Cheetos puff, I drink water with blow Prosperity. You I know, say a colleague. Oh, Martin said prosperity. Let's go with that one. Let's go with prosperity because you know I'm all about. Hey. I'm eating a colleague. Boy. <coughs> Isn't it? So we're just spending the half of the podcast. I suffer through whatever <laughs> ailment. We're having right now? Girl, right now, heartburn me, I feel. Oh my God. More heartburn than... is a bitch. What is it, karma? Heartburn. Oh. What the hell am I thinking about karma, though? Oh my God. <clears throat> I gave you a karma lecture the other day. Yo. And you saw what happened what to me yesterday on Twitter? I don't work at you, Because eh? I'm always lecturing you, Arjev. Mm-hmm. And you saw what happened to me yesterday? In half a tree? With the hold pool? on, hold on. One of my patients <clears throat> is talking back. What did I say? What did you say, Jeff? Jeff, I lectured you this morning. Oh. <laughs> like, it's like. <laughs> oh, God. Louis. Only you, Lord. Mm-mm. Y'all watch American Horror Story, though? Like, I am so behind because I got caught up with Jane, but I just want to take this time to say American Horror Story 1984 was it for me. I love American Horror Story. I'm going to know my for go wait the next year and a half for season 10, but you know, maybe long, but it won't be forever. Happy New Year, guys. Thank you for joining us. Yet another year, 2020, on the bug of them. But not <clears throat> them, yeah, <clears throat> true. Yes. No cursing this year. From Nate, at least. I'm trying to live decent. Um, yeah. No, I'm not giving myself 10 minutes neither. Well, it's me. <laughs> I'll try to follow my friend. Good. <clears throat> Mr. Girl. But that's all I can do. Try. Last night. I've got Mr. It's the last night I'm in the club. I say, you know, I'm half come back. Did I just put pepper in my eye? You know, so, you know so something I'm blowing in my eye? <laughs> <laughs> no. I just rubbed the spicy wings in my eye. I don't even know what. Go on. Okay, so, when I'm there in the party last night, I say, you know, some half come back nature come talk about people who are bed. Because. Yeah. You know, I never see it going there, sir? No, me either. <clears throat> I didn't say it going there. I've personally talk about people overall, no, but I realized that. <sighs> yeah, man. I mean, P wall. Yeah. You can't have a wall. one. So, if you're going out in a public space, especially when the space is small, like a club setting, bed. bed. It's so important that you bed. Like, Isn't it? Why do the people them don't bed? I because think they just need stronger daughter mm. rounds, you know? Today, I saw somebody say, on Twitter, the first thing I saw, remember to put on deodorant when they're going out today. And I'm like, people, you need to remind people to put on deodorant. All right, let me give you a list of deodorants that work and the list of deodorants that don't work. I mean, everybody, but is different. Because, like, I can't use Secret, because Secret... It must not, be a Secret. They need a bus <laughs> So, I'm going to use everything Mistake. there. Mistake. So, because you know, it's a big gunman. I'm going to use, like, Gillette. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Jeff. I need that sport and then thing there. No, that's ghetto. Anyway. So, I'm going to use Gillette. <clears throat> um, Arm and Hammer, that's my favorite one, Arm and Hammer, because it has a lot of baking soda and baking soda like grab up a scent and grab up every scent and it just absorb it. And I just started using Axe deodorant. I don't know if you bought that yet. You know, somehow I think you're saying it wrong, you know. Degree. Deodorant. I don't know deodorant. if that's what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Degree. Deodorant. I can't deodorant. use degree, you know. 
like I use um, um, lady speed stick. I hate lady speed stick. It stinks. I don't like. <sighs> I use it. I just don't like invisible dry one. Is that one beating me? I don't like it at all. It's not. It's, beat bad. it's beating me bad. I don't, know, I don't know how people use Dove. Deodorant. You see Dove, it makes you smell really good for 10 minutes. Like, you see in the first 10 minutes of using Dove, yeah, you smell, you good. smell like, huh. When I was then in, in 10 minutes, after the 10 minutes, it's just like, yeah. it's like you never blood clap, be idiot. Beep. Be idiot. You know what I'm saying? When I was in third form, there was this girl that came from Nigeria, right? And she was all like she did just always smell bad. So I'm so sorry. She don't live in Jamaica anymore. Okay, no, I'm not sure. Um, she did left after like third form. Okay. Yeah. So them say, beep. What kind of dinner and say you is? And she said, Dove. I'm afraid it's like your Dove now, no love, because how the hell do you use Dove and come to school smelling like this? Mind you, in high school people are very terrible. Like, period, point blank. But I don't think you should ever, like, if you have friends that smell bad, I think you should tell them before they reach just people like Netanyahu. <laughs> where people like Netanyahu just go, um, tear them apart or um, sub them. Because I saw somebody on the other day subtweeting some guy on the timeline and saying, like, why him friend them don't tell him say, I'm out I may mean, say, the poor boy probably scrolling no, past this sub and don't know his female. Well, I'm going ask that question. Would you rather your mouth stink or your arm green? I'm green. Yeah, I don't have my arm to be I green. I rather my arm blood. You don't have my mouth No, guys. <laughs> Get your shit together. I could not have my mouth If my smelling. arm green, I can Make go to the down. bathroom. I can get a little wet wipe and then reapply and go again. When your mouth stink, it just stink. It oh, just stink. And sometimes it's like oh. a care fix no matter how you. No, no, man. Some, some, mouth just some stink. stink mouth, gum can't fix. So you see me? Then that's a cavity. <laughs> Yo, I'm not telling them. I'm going to tell no one's secret. Oh, my God. Uh, go. I just remember something. Go up on the road where they uh, stay with my friend's house and left my toothbrush at their house. Next day, I'm going to have work. Mind you, I wasn't supposed to go home the night. But, true, I get like a, the drive from Jev. Je- take up myself. Say, yeah, man, let's go home because you don't feel up for them in my yard. Left my toothbrush at my friend's house. And usually, I have more than one toothbrush. But this time, I only had one. I'm in a shambles, come out of work the next day. I'm wake up and I never spoke to anyone that day because uh, my mom, I had to go to work and I couldn't. When I'm reaching, so people were trying to you. talk to me and I'm just like. <laughs> then I went across the road and when I was, um, I saw a double mint and I was like, yeah, man, I eat this. So see me here at the cashier, how much for the mint? <laughs> She's like, fix it all up, so I'm slide across the money. I, I was not close to this lady because I don't know if my mouth think, think. but she just never brushed from the night before. I'm ashamed. Nah, nah. Shame bad. I never brush my teeth because I eat a lot of onions. That seemed like a wild confession, but I actually like onion more than the average person. So onion bad you know? I eat, I, I eat onion in everything, so I'm sorry, man. I got to keep on keeping on, but what I yeah, just but, remembered yeah. about mouth, though, was beep. Bad. I'm wondering if nobody don't tell Beep both females, but because Beep mouths stink for years. Who, who oh did it with Beep? <laughs> did he hear that? Yeah. He mouths stink from him boring though, and nobody has done anything about it. There's been no authorities if contacting. If somebody had told him something, he wouldn't have a girlfriend right now. Monday, oh, she's still okay. Did you see that article where the lady said her husband breath stinks? So every time they have sex, she not kiss him? I'd rather die. <laughs> I'd rather die in my sleep than go through that. Because my must can say you're a big man. Brush your teeth. Yo! No. You tell the... Go brush your teeth. It's as simple as that. No, but they have kids too. will tell me, you, go brush your teeth. It's simple how, as that. How could you make it reach my... It could have passed the first meeting, you know? Not even first date, the first time No, but you must can... If you're dating somebody or skidding out for somebody, because if, if him can't take care of him teeth, which is so obvious to take care of and brush, you think him roll over him wood and clean there, so how it gone oh. inside of you if you can't trust somebody mouth do. Mouth is so important. Nathan, I know, but I'm thinking about it. Like, remember say him seeing him mouth all the time, you know, and, and, At some and point, brushing your teeth is something I wonder if people basic. actually, like, taste them on a mouth or, like, smell them on a arm. Because, then again, if I live with it so long, come in natural sense, you know, like, you know, think nothing wrong with it, you know? Period, poo. Maybe the mouth thing, but the arm thing, girl... No, you must smell it when your arm and kick like caca If you're not used to something smelling one way, guess what got happen? You're not used to it. Even yeah, like, you know, just say, uh, it just stops scent. Like man who work for garbage truck. You can't tell me them still smell it. 
No, what? Me, me have to smell that. Mama just want to know when this turned into our IG in podcast. Because I realize I so told you, Carol. So <laughs> uh, I just tell people say when they're going out, fresh up. Just yeah, beard. And if I have an older problem, baking soda Try is the plug. Try different things for you because my what relative. Soda baking soda is a plug? No. What inspired you? Oh, uh, when I went out last night to uh, Porty, the people in front of me stinked. Like I had to move and go outside for fresh air. Like all of them? Yes. So it's not one person, it was a collective. So if, the two, if all of them set team up, that's why it was so strong for you. Because all of them smells join allegiance. Yeah. Is that the Avengers? Yeah, move though. So but, uh, my thing is, somebody was telling me, a relative of mine was telling me that sometimes your body just gets too used to whatever products you're using. So then you kind of have to do a detox and a reset. So she said, oh, when something not working for her, she have to use like lime and baking soda, I think she used. And just like reset our armpit and then start using something Guys, else. I'm telling you. No, like, like for really, I have to know what is what works good. for your body. So it's like if you know, say your arm need a detox, detox your arm. Baking soda is again. the plug, as I said again. As I said, no, not that I drag you. That's all I'm no. trying to get to. I'm not dragging people. I'm tra- here trying to help. <laughs> right? So this is the help part of it now. If you realize that you have uh, odor from your body's arm specifically, because, you know, at the arm, the first thing people are going to smell. Because... Yeah, if you're not talk. Um, before I hit people see, I had like a really sweat sweat issue. And we used to stink like all the time. Mother used to shame on me, like she never one camera going away. Um sorry. Because as I started sweating, I started saying, and she was like, No, this can't work, you know. So she used to do is bathe me in baking soda, so that I'm telling people that and baking, baking soda, soda is the plug. It's the plug. So you can I didn't even say cousin say reset your arm. Yeah, because she's but said, bathing it though. Not just say arm like not just say arm. Show yeah. him. She's like once she realize her arm not catch. Once she realize her arm not catch the daughter. Yeah, vibes, sometimes her arm touch a little bit and if I just catch she it. She said, now. all right. Me and you have to start over. Cause she said, yo, it's the worst thing when you're at work and you feel uncomfortable because you don't know if people actually are smell you. And, and you the thing is, once nah. you smell yourself, that's it on period. Because when you smell yourself, girl, the worst thing I bet other people are smell you. But now, like, when me smell myself, I have a cut out. And you go feel home. so, you know, conscious. You're just like, oh my god. But me find every excuse for cut out still. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. 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 I say yo, <laughs> yes, guys, smelling us. I mean, no, like couple people who have like smelly feet, right? Some of them are more comfortable with the smelly feet. Some aren't. You see, all me, you will never catch me. I take off my shoes at work because I enjoy my job and I enjoy working with <laughs> my coworkers. And for me to go kill off those kind people, it don't make no sense. Uh, so when you see other people at work, I walk up and down barefoot. They must think that my foot, my shoes glue on, palm me. But if me take off that, is a different something. So I don't try to kill people. So you'll notice that I hardly take my shoes off, yo. and I always try to wear slippers so that my feet can get air. Cues. I wish you guys could see the floor right now. I'm barefoot because I was in my slippers. Had I worn a shoe up here or sneakers, yeah? yeah nah, I'll take care of. Yo, my cousin, foot used to stink. If I'm going to film room and take off the shoes, everybody in the house had to come out. Yes! Huh. Listen! Oh my God. And we had to put, we have to end up making putting shoes that, on the roof. My sister actually listens to this, but my brother has smelly feet. Like, when my brother take off him shoes, I want in the community. I oh <laughs> want. In a Portmore she like <laughs> wait no I can't manage so you see me come my foot smell bad I know say try not to kill off people I took off my shoes in front of Jeff Jeff be like are your foot that um, <laughs> yes it, yes it is yo, no, that bre- is my yo, foot yo man bright you know yo Jeff not yo Jeff always I take some sort of liberty with me but you know we live mommy not one of them thing they still I say go in a relationship so speaking of relationships we're gonna jump right into the topic because Ulf and allow me and Denny to continue speaking about hygiene don't say oh no we're not attacking anybody we're trying to help <laughs> it's a podcast that helps don't drag people <laughs> we're not okay you just drag the people there from the club <laughs> Denny, if you think you think though that never did you have to see me so but yeah we don't want to turn it into a um hygiene a, a hygiene thing because we came to talk about healthy relationships I wonder what your name if it was a hygiene thing. Hygiene cast. Hygiene is a healthy relationship with yourself. That is also very true. So we're going to speak about healthy relationships because we realize that lots of people don't know what a healthy relationship is supposed to be. I mean, everybody 
healthy relationship is different. Different strokes for different folks. And when I'm talking about strokes, I don't mean sex, guys. Right? So this is not an encouragement sex to cast. cheat. What's wrong with you? Anyway, so somebody... Like words in front of cast today. Somebody had sent me, once you had a toxic relationship and healthy relationship just feels boring. Now, this is where I should have known that this tweet made no sense because and before an H, this person obviously gets a four in English and they should not have a Twitter account. Um, but yeah, so it's... <laughs> Did he? <laughs> you all right? No. You good do. And you know, I think it is so relevant to talk about healthy relationships now more than ever, <laughs> considering ev I see people on social media justifying this man killing this woman. So I think that this is a good time. Come and just when, remember about that. I'm a triggered The one when the top. man give her money and stuff like that. And come and shoot me at my job, though. And everybody's going to say that that's why you must make relationships transactional and women must be, oh, care yeah. be, be careful of the money that they take from men. How about men be careful and don't kill me? <laughs> Daniel, that's so How about cool. it? How about the man that kill me now? You know, God works in mysterious ways. This man wanted his story to be a murder-suicide and I'm happy that he attempted to kill himself and it did not work out. Because people need to get themselves under control and understand that you don't own anybody. And that's why we're going to be talking about healthy relationships. So you guys can understand that you don't own anybody and nobody don't own you. And if somebody are going to let them own you, leave. You need to find a way to leave. I don't care if it's witness protection program and you know if you need to start a new life at Portland, a tie up goat. Why have to say Portland and the person is going to look for them? <laughs> find a way out of those relationships. Like, I don't want to be mourning anybody else for 2020. I don't want to hear about anymore. Murder suicides, and I don't want nobody tell me not to take no money from man because sometimes that's all they have to give. So we don't want nobody to tell me that either. Ooh. Big big 2020 she. So there's an article that says 35 signs you're in a toxic relationship. 35. Why we need so one. For <laughs> <laughs> me yeah. out the window. Yo, but one well, thing with me, I'm glad me eat man. So if it's a man for kill me, very unlikely. I'm a glad me eat man. I'm a love my solitude. I'm just glad to me. How is it? I highly unlikely that a man can kill you. I'm glad me man can kill you right now. Netanya, no man can kill me. Come on, take the man thinks a serious girl. Yeah, no man can kill me. So if you see a man kill me, half is a whole facade, and me just try to kill myself, make me insurance money. So that can't happen to me. Are you mad? Because I don't take the man thing seriously and it not take nothing for me to cut you off because I cut off all my own family. They will tell you. They will go watch this with sorrow. So what they tell you? Them I. And tears And them not even know cut. how to Oh, God. Listen. Yes, serious though. Hold on now. But the joke is, the other day, I was talking to this guy who said that he might interest in me. And I said, yeah. Vibes, because man. Um, but then he said something that was very peculiar. He's like, he likes toxic relationships. And I'm That's like, no. yeah, forgive me a break. And I'm like, we can't stop record. <laughs> and I found it so peculiar that somebody was saying that. And I said to him, why would you openly admit that? Hmm? This, is a, this is a red flag. The red, red flag. flag. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> but I found it so strange. But anytime that, I see Nathan here talking, I'm going to hug up my pillow, you know, same and fix. Yeah. I find it so strange that. You're approaching someone with the intention of, you know, going into something with them and then say something like that. Clearly, you don't want this person. So I say, why? He said he just finds that healthy relationships aren't exciting. And I love my big boring life. <laughs> and I'm big like, boring whoa. Website. He's like, yeah, man, if no toxic in there, he can't do it. So I said, but hey, just stop talking to me from now because I'm not going down this path. I think psychopath. everybody should try to avoid being toxic, no? Not run towards it. So I'm not saying that any of us are perfect, perfect, but everybody is aiming to be as healthy as possible, or at least I hope. Come on, guys. It's big, big 2020 now. I don't want to hear you guys running down these things, you know? And then want people to come sing Kumbaya when they're alone in the hole, you know? Not even Kumbaya. Don't. Don't. You just want people to feel sorry Not even for as you. a joke. I saw somebody tweet like, this year we're not speaking any negativity over our lives, not even as a joke. And 
big man yeah, talking toxic in a relationship it don't make sense not even as a joke i don't want you guys to say men will always take it too I'm far because i'm telling you guys like i don't know if you guys have ever i don't know watched the news but it's actually at an alarming rate the amount of murder suicides not just here in jamaica across the world so i think understanding toxicity when you see it and knowing when to exit stage left is very important no, the man kill me, no. okay so read the, the, yeah, read read it. It. yeah. Um, so 35 cents. I don't know. I would need so much, but but 35. All right, the top five. It says so. Many of us say top five, but number one, all take, no give. Any any relationship in which you experience withdrawals of energy without deposits will leave you in the negative. Mm, makes sense. Um, you're feeling drained, lack of trust. If you're draining me, if you're my friend or my man, I'm gonna stop talking to you. I think the lack of trust one is a it's just like, if you don't trust people, your relationship cannot work. If you don't trust a person, you've lost your peace of mind. A true car, you're person. always bad at But not like, I mean, that's also very true. Mm. A lot of people just stay in relationships like that because most of them have man or woman. I no. learned to really trust Jeff over time. When I say time, I mean a lot of time. No, I don't understand. I mean, like, trust day. comes, let that, you know. Right? I mean, yeah. No. So, Hold on. But the same person I was talking to, him same though, just women true. overall. So. You know that his mom left him on a bus? He lives with his mom. You know, so his mother do him something. Like, I remember one time trying to be in a relationship with somebody that their mother do something. And from that, I made a decision. If the man not madly in love with his mother, chances are I'm going to stay away from you because... I'm telling you, those niggas are the most broken. We have some something to do against their mother. I'm going to want to... You take out your mother anger against me. And then you're going to just fight it out. Me never tell your mother to move with all of our kids and leave you one. And I don't want to have to amend that because I'm not a therapist. The gentleman in mine went to many therapists and each therapist kept saying, you Reach a point where I can't help you. Go to somebody else. So they know me taking that person. Reach a point where a therapist cannot help you anymore. Yeah, he went through so many therapists because it's just like, when are you going to stop feeling the way you do about your mom? When are you going to stop feeling that way about your mother? Remember that our moms and our dads are like our first example of like love and relationships, you know? Maybe and you hold, on, feel. you hold on to the things that you learn from them like till death. So if a man has those type of angry broken feelings towards his mom exactly and i don't want to be a part of that because only two patients may have jeff and Nets. i can't take up no more jeff was, jeff, why just listen to himself from therapy me taking free session <laughs> do you believe that somebody can be toxic to you but healthy to somebody else yeah, I think, no, that every, no, no. I think that people are very different in every situation because I was thinking about somebody this morning that was total shit to me and an absolute waste of my time. And I realized that they were really helpful to like other people and, in, you know, who are, I guess, are in other places in their life. And I was like, yo, that really goes to show that somebody can be really horrible for me. Dark shit and, to you. And really and helpful to somebody else's life. Trash so, my yeah. golden for somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One's man, one man's trash is another man's treasure. One man, if you're... You have a trash? Chances are I'm going to be my trash though. No cap! Period. Arthur. Anyway. But I don't know. I feel like a lot of people, them just, I don't want to say they don't want to leave the situation, but it always boils down to the fact that they don't think that they can find better. Mm. People take liberties when they don't respect you. Listen. Liberty come through carelessness. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Right? If you leave your head back careless. And people just take liberty of people in general. That's what I think. Like, you could not give people no reason for do something. If they're gonna do, they feel like they're going to do it, they're going to do it. Yeah, people take liberty with it because people can't help themselves sometimes. I don't think it has something to do with respect. It's just because I realize that Netanya um, accept liberties. So why not take it? Yeah, so it's like, it's like one of those things where there's no consequence. So why am I not do it? So if there's no consequence to something, we just go just do it over and over and over again. And then you're not going to change nothing and I get to live my best life. So Yeah, I'll show you a kiki and say, stop that, girl. Yeah, so then why wouldn't I do it? Don't do that with me. I'll thump in your face. I don't know those things to people because I try, to, I try to treat liberties. people how, how I want to be treated. I don't believe in that. Treat people how you want them to treat you. Yeah. I don't believe in it. I just feel like why? you treat people how 
you are like because me no say mm. I'm not doing anything for people to treat me like that, right? So if me treat you good and you want to treat me like dog shit, I'm gonna do a dip. Yeah, I'm not gonna I, stop I'm treating people. I'm definitely gonna treat you how I want to be treated, which is great. So even if it is that you're gonna treat me bad, I always try to put my best foot forward with people. Or whatever happens after that. I'm not put no foot forward, you know. Rather my foot then broke. Yeah. Right? I always try to put my best foot forward. But that's what I always what I was even think I was even thinking about it the other day. I was saying to somebody that how people treat everybody differently and how someone treats you is not necessarily how they treat somebody else and how they treat somebody is not necessarily how they treat you. So I was saying like them you could have been the bag the bag juice and them could have mm. been the champagne. You get me? So you can't use it as a benchmark to say, oh, like, for example, let's use you and Jeff. Somebody can see you and Jeff on the internet behaving couplish. Couple-ish. And, <laughs> yeah, couplish. And they might say, yo, if Daniel and Jeff left, me can deal with Jeff. No, 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 them not left. What does that say? No, if you get me after Jeff. Right? And then. Salt. Yeah, you are salt. Because <laughs> there's not. Like, Jeff not good. You're not going to get the best of um, me. And then. Jeff, can you not good for you? No, anyway. No, and then you're gonna think that, oh, because Jeff treat Danny like this means say uh, he might treat, he me, might treat me so too. That's not true. That's true. Treat everybody great. That's also very true. They don't have any sense <laughs> they're not not to do. They're not gonna look forward to. Right, it was them price. Worse. Mm-hmm. So yeah. anyway, them life's that's why you're them good. I don't mean that. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Just facts. Mm, facts on facts. Anyway, um, I don't like when people use us as a benchmark because people treat everybody differently, right? So like when me there with Daniela sit on the couch, there's nobody else who could have sit on the couch and me and them par, so. And I would not be nice to anybody like that. I would not be nice to anybody like that, dog. I see the facts every day. I don't even answer my phone when people call me. Anyways, who? Just generally, just unpleasant. But I'm nice to you. I'm thinking it's about me overall, but yes, I'm pleasant no, overall. No, girl. No, I feel like I'm unpleasant to people on certain occasions, but like not all the time. Very simple. It depends on my mood. I think it's my mood make me really treat people. I look away still. <laughs> I think it's no, my mood. No, no, I Read the next sign. Oh, yeah, let me forget. Go to sign them. Um, <laughs> we're to reach far. Okay, so hostile atmosphere. Constant anger is a sure sign of an unhealthy relationship. Boy, if somebody always, always angry, because they're always angry, that's true. Because I always say abusing Jeff. Jeff, so why not call for help, him? I really you think, you know, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a, um, accomplice. Number five, occupied with imbalance. I don't know. Is it a one sided relationship can never run smoothly? Never. Don't you believe that most relationships are like one sided, though? No. I don't know. Your love laugh. laugh. <laughs> your love laugh. No, but what is wrong that, with you? That, that my life with you, so you're happy. Why are you scrolling? May I look for um, Jane, staff party pictures and sleek. Right now? <laughs> you ask me, I don't me tell you. What, also, no. Also, all the time. No, in other words. I've seen it before. Where are you doing? <laughs> no, but my mom is like, where are you business for? Because you just said it. Okay, so another one is non-stop narcissism. <sighs> A lot of people are narcissists, you know. And they don't even know. And they don't know. But I don't think people take the time to really get to know themselves, you know. That's why they're playing on other people. Mm-hmm. I, a lot of people don't know themselves and they try to go into relationships to make other people figure them out. Um, which makes no sense. Which makes no sense because chances are the person who you're trying to make figure you out don't know themselves either. So, so they have bigger the fish to fry. That's like when I was saying, I was watching my sermon on YouTube a long time. I watched it, praise God. Um, I was watching the sermon on YouTube and it's like, you sick of yourself, so you feel like you should get in a relationship. And the person who you're sick of themselves is when they come together, two is just sick. Because only doesn't really like each other because they're not liking themselves. And I was like, that's so interesting. Like, liking yourself is really step one, you know? A lot of people don't. But mm-hmm. also, I found out that I was a narcissist. So, do you believe My that? My friend was calling me all the, and telling me all the signs. I don't believe that. That you're a narcissist or I'm a narcissist? That you are. No, I'm not, you know. I'm not. You season two, love and joy. I must have to talk about you because I feel bad for loving you. Why? Because I saw loving somebody you. tweet, uh-huh. if 
the per if the main character in you was black, he would have been in jail by the third episode of season one. And that really kind of resonated with me. I feel like it's so easy for the media to love and white. admire white crazy men. But if that was a black man, I really think the narrative would have been totally different. Really so then it really the made me start right to, to think. I kind of feel slightly no, guilty for loving it like that. Love, she's just as sick because when she was telling her backstory of how... Oh, uh, oh, spoiler alert, it's true. Yeah, when she was giving her beep, spoilers. her backstory, I was like... Yeah, man, Spoiler we're sorry, alert. guys. I'm but sorry, guys. But my sister, she's sitting in the place, and I'm like, she knew about him this whole time and still went ham. But my thing and is, I'm the like, fact that she killed somebody for him, I was just like, what? goals. Oh, sorry, Jay. Oh, sorry. Jeff can't sit down to them someday. I know basketball. Like, like the show get justic. We feel like when Carter said the party get justic. Yeah. Yeah. And the first time ever related to Carter. So, <laughs> like... I watched the show, I said, John. Yeah, that show got dark real fast. I real mean, quick, but, but episode three? Yeah, it's two people. Who that? It's two people. Remember, she killed oh, Candice? Oh, yeah, forget about Candice. She killed Candice and just killed Delilah. I forget about Candice, man. I saw people compa- comparing Delilah to Peaches. <laughs> Delilah could never. Peaches, uh-huh. Peaches was you that peach? bitch. Peaches and cream, yeah. Let me call her in my mind. Peach. Like I'm a neighbor. Like I'm a neighbor. Yeah, yeah I didn't really like her. But like honestly though, you it just me, it mashed me up. Well, I'm saying which part really mashed me up to a spoiler alert again. The end when Joel looked him fucking fence. I'm a curse. I loved that. That Damn. was what sold me on it, right? You know, because the whole time I was watching you, season two, I was thinking, hmm, season one down. is way better. That's what I was thinking. Then when I saw Joe plan up for that next woman, I was just like, never mind. That took it right over for me, which is why I said, guys, I feel really guilty for supporting this white man terrorizing That's what people. I was saying to somebody that I like, Iman love. I got terrorized at Umania. Yeah? Hashtag no, brata. No. Because the person asks if love I got dead. Because that's the only way Joe can move on to somebody else. That's but the only way. My thing is, Joe can't find true love because him don't like himself. Me? Like, Mush, I didn't mean. I think so. He's a white man. He's always going to get away. That's very true. I don't think the police is going to get involved. Because even when him look, did kill um, Henderson, Henderson the night, all him do was give the police a earphones. And that was the end of that. Police, too late. Him catch on too late, though, Brocky. Because if there was a black man, he would have shake him down and say bloody things. You know that, you know? You think he would have just get off with just giving the man a earphones? Because if it was a black man, he would have say, how you afford these earphones right off the bat? It wouldn't be months after or days after you in movie time. The person can't afford it. The person can't afford it. No, but you don't think the person can afford it because he's a white man. You get what I'm saying? I don't mean to do this Black Lives Matter thing right now. I'm saying but right long after. But I'm saying if that was a black man in that same moment, he would have said, how would you be able to afford this much as he'd be throwing it away? So then it must, it should I get catch from that moment, you know? Cause when he Joe met that, even look the rich. police should have just look like shake dirt. out all of the stuff and he would have seen all of the blood, all the evidence was right there. The show could have done a long time, no, but like, but if the show had done a long time, would have nothing to watch though. I wouldn't have nothing to focus about. So I have a question: What do you think about allowing, in quotes, your partner to do things? Do you feel like do things? That's As in much. like allow? Because people like to use the word. I don't allow my partner to do this. Oh, like that's how I allow like to do things. Things meaning anything overall. So like, you oh, you're not allowed to talk to this person, or you're not allowed to go here, or you're not allowed to do this. I'm not comfortable with those things, but at the same time, I feel like if you're in a relationship, you're supposed to have some sort of conscience. I'll say that. Them good? At what end? The Martin's dogs are going. Yeah, they're going home. But like, I saw some something that. This girl said she, what she say? Oh yeah, you can't allow your partner, she put in quotes, to do anything that they want to do or don't allow them whatever. You can express how you feel about it, you know, and talk to them about it. But at the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do because we're all humans. The other day, a topic came up with myself and um, a few of Jeff's friends that are my friends too. 
Shana and Kimmy. And Jeff was just like, Danielisa, you don't want me to do X. And I'm like, of course I would have wanted to, but at the same time, it's really you who must decide if it is that you're going to go ahead and do it. I wouldn't do that to you. But because that's because of how I reason out things. But I'm not going to force you, you to mm -hmm. not do it if doing that is really what's going to make you happy. So he's like, so you're going to be mad? I'm like, no, I can't be mad at you for not being me. I mean, you know, I just do it myself. But, um, but if that's what you want to do, do it. Because you see, for me, if me and you are friends, even at the basic level, let's let's not even do relationship friends. Me and Netanyahu are friends. If somebody that hurt Netanyahu is in my life more than a smidge or more than a business relationship, I would have feel uncomfortable. Because me and Netanyahu are really good friends. So then I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to be dining with Netanyahu's enemies, if you will. Because that's just how I reason. And I would never tell somebody, stop talking to XYZ person because me and them are not good. That's for you and your pillowcase, not me. So <laughs> if somebody if somebody hurt, like really hurt somebody in your life or disrespect somebody in your life constantly and you reward that person with friendship, I feel like you're an enabler. But if you want to enable that, that's your thing. I don't do that. I feel like in life, you always have to pick a side, unfortunately. You always no, have to pick a like side. Picking, you know? And I, I don't force people to pick sides either. I usually pick a side for myself. So for me, if it <laughs> is that you're dining with my enemy and you can't help it, I'll just stop talking to you. Because as I said to you guys before, I don't really take anybody that seriously but myself. So I'm not going to okay, mad question. myself over no friend Let's or say for man. example, um, two ways now. You go to Jev and say, Jev, I don't want you to talk to this person. Mm -hmm. Right? What would you, what would you want Jeff to do? Not talk to the person? Or I would want Jeff to follow his heart. I I hope you don't want to follow him hard. I hope he doesn't take me coming to him and saying don't talk to per that person seriously. Okay, that next is question. Crazy. Jeff comes to you and said, Daniel, I don't want you talking to this person because I don't feel comfortable talking to this person. What would you do? Not talk Jeff to the person. Jeff is the type of person to drop a hint, and I'd just take the hint and run with it, and just don't talk to the person. Okay, what if you find out that Jeff was talking to the person who told him not to talk to? Wait, well, on what? What if? Okay, so Jeff, you tell Jeff, don't talk to Netanya, mm -hmm. right? Because you're not comfortable with it, you don't like it. Then you found out that Jeff is talking to Netanya behind your back. Mm -hmm. What would you do? I'd leave Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no, because my thing is, guys, I know you guys think I'm dramatic, but that's how come I'm going to outlive most of you. You have to take small things as signs, guys. So um, the mere you fact. Mark there? Yeah, you have to take sleep mark death. If Jeb is going to lie to me about something as trivial as speaking to Netanya, what won't Jeb lie about him not getting me for kill? I just stop talking to him. Why did Jeb have a kill you? That's how these sure. things start, girl. Girl, you know, you know what you know, sure, you know? I, these things Apparently, I watch take too much. no time. If Jeb is going to lie to me about something trivial, I better we just don't deal with each other because what else? What else am I going to do to prove my point to Jeb that thou shalt not lie? Chop him name in. <laughs> you just have to stop talking to him. Or just, as in there's nothing else to do, you get me? That's one of God's commandments. Thou shalt not lie. So you just put out God punishment. So, what, <laughs> end him? <laughs> no, what do I do? There's nothing There's nothing else to do. What may I go do? Go to Jeff and ball and say, how could you talk to Netanyahu when I told you not to? Which I wouldn't know. That is so toxic. But still, no, sir. Mm -mm. I feel not like if you're going to date somebody, mm -mm. respect their wishes in some formats. If it's not... Completely ridiculous. And if you guys can't agree on like one thing, most can come to us compromise. A compromise, a or mark. guess what? One only just left because, let's say for example, guys, don't be afraid to break up. That's, That's also my very true. Message. <laughs> <laughs> someone afraid for break up. Someone afraid for left man. I don't know why. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I I but let's say for example, you know, say me and Jeff not fair talk. Cause mm -hmm. you tell Jeff don't talk to me. You find out. Jeff said to you, say, well, Daniel, I'm not going to stop talking to you, you're my friend. And I'm going to say, you know what, Jeff? <laughs> you just keep on keeping on with that friend of yours, you know? I believe in you and your friend, but you know who is my friend? My savior divine. <laughs> so you and she go on, and me and Jesus go on side. Must be mad. I don't know. I just think that's just Jeff trying to get the best of both worlds. Because... You can't have your cake and eat it. 
Yeah. You heard it. You heard it here first. You can't have your cake and eat it. I'm going to tell Netanya this every evening. You can't have your cake and eat it. So you see me? You always have to sacrifice. I don't have a cake good. and I'm not eating any cake because I don't you like cake. You have to sometimes sacrifice things for a greater good. So do you want your wonderful relationship with Netanya or you're going to get another fucking friend? One. Or you want me. You want me or you want your friendship with Netanya. You can't get the two of them coming out like Netanya so you try to make up, make up your mind. And if you say you can't give up on your friend, you keep on keeping on, boo. Two sis. This sounds very personal. Ignorant. Daniel. Yeah, girl. Sounds. No, you really, you really are off on this. But I feel like what Daniel is saying is true. Um, People, at the end of the day, even if you don't want to make a choice, you have to pick a side. Like, it's Maturely just... in life, it's hard. It's hard, Netanya. It, it's so, so you can't easy have a two to But you can't have a cake and eat it. You always have to make a choice in life. Life is filled with choices. Left door, right door, red, yellow, pink, purple. You have to make a choice. So, and it, trust me, best believe, if you have someone in your life like me, if you can choose, I'll choose for you, boo-boo. Best believe, and you know why me intervene. Having the cake choose, and eating it too will ruin your relationship, guys. We'll ruin your life. What the ruin your life? Your life. <laughs> That's so hard. I'm going right now. Because your we're speaking about Um, hold on. I found another article that says, um, a big article. Jesus, please, we feel like you know. I'm tired of you. Ten signs of a good relationship. You you aren't afraid to say what you think. You're afraid of your partner. Then again, you know, some people are really afraid. How are you gonna be in a relationship with somebody you're afraid of? On reach red flag. I do stage. Then again. Did you see that Tyler Perry movie? I might have to watch it, girl. I love the toxicity in a show. Show only, not real life. Listen, when the I'm man married the lady and she come and sit with up on the phone with her and he's like, I, I don't I, like being checked up on me. I said, hold on, he was so My one jump in at my phone and me I watch it. Off. Yeah, then off, girl. he's like, you old bitches. And I'm like, what? I say, yo, but your mother is a old then. bitch. That is so extreme. Sorry. Oh, that wait, wait, so wait, wait. Extreme. I forgot that I came, I came on the podcast with a hidden agenda. Um, It was so hidden, I forgot it from myself. Um, <laughs> yes, I just wanted to address this really quick before Netanya goes into her signs. Oh, wait, I know what you're talking about. Actually, come, talk about it. I forget. <laughs> yeah, oh, you forget? Are you not allowed you want to talk about it? Go on. Girl. All right, so the other day, there are two instances. The other day, and I hope that these young ladies are listening. Because Jeff doesn't want me to find you on social media. Yeah, he says that I'm extra. So I'm hoping you guys are listening to the podcast. One, the other day a young lady saw Jeff at work and said something to him. I was just like, oh, I'm not going to talk to you because next thing your, your girlfriend come fight me. What could you be speaking about <laughs> with Jeff at work, miss, that I would come and find you and fight you? Furthermore, Jeff can speak to anybody he wants to speak to. And if it is that you want to have a conversation with Jeff, leave me out of it like i've realized that all of you are so used to toxicity that you think that that is a normal thing to say but please do not call craziness over my life because i could not be less concerned with who jeff is speaking with and i just feel really i feel some sort of way because i'm like i'm sure i don't give off that vibe because i'm sure the vibe that i give off most times is i don't care about anything and very caught up in myself so i'm wondering how could somebody have got that message that I don't want him to speak to Jeb. Speak to Jeb anytime you want, about anything you want, but please don't use me as the intro. I think that that was what annoyed me the most. The mere fact that she used me as the introduction to talk to She wants to a, a grown to... Talk, to build a conversation yeah. on, but I don't use me. There's so many things to talk about and... The weather. And my thing is, having a regular conversation with Jeb and girlfriend going to attack you, that means I look you want to look Jeb and even if you're trying to look Jeb, still don't use me. I feel as like a lot of people... Up women especially they don't believe in like friendships so like Wait, yeah it's true going to talk to somebody the, the first thing they think about is boom boom and a boy can they you know they don't think about stuff like that they don't i, I also people do that um and, and they don't think it's okay to have like a normal because i don't think in people. jamaica people don't build things off friendship them just run and jump and day and run and jump and sk- beep. beep yeah um, BP6, guys, by the way. You can remember I was saying it in a couple podcasts ago that Jamaicans just... 
Yeah, they don't. Well, yeah, they don't. They don't be friends with people. Friendship. Like you can literally talk to people, have an innocent conversation, go on about that, your day, and, and nothing is at risk with having an innocent conversation. Because I'm sure so you, you don't, don't have think... to bring up somebody's girlfriend. Like it just shows, say you want that person, yeah. So if you didn't want Jeff, girl, but not gonna lie, you could I get the boy? Because then he would just give you. With a bow. I'm not going to follow you up because I could absolutely not care less because I'm not going to have gray hair over because Jeff or anybody. Day, That's just creepy though. I don't want your you girlfriend come and say, up. so you think I do, good. come down at Jeff workplace at Beep 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 Road to come and see you and tell you to stop talking to Jeff. That sounds absolutely crazy. I am not threatened by anybody. I'm like, I have a decent relationship. So, you know? me good. Then the next girl now, see, me and Jeff at Soka Forever and she said something about Crazy girlfriend, but I didn't hear you know because it's a party. Her, <laughs> it's a though. party, and whoever ever talked to not nothing to do with me. Then the same girl runs over. Oh my god, I'm a huge fan. You're a huge fan of crazy people. Like this must be a Netflix special. Like please, don't call that over me, and please don't use me as a stepping stone to speak to Jev. Jev was a whole person before our relationship and will continue to be a whole person. If you're talking to Jeff, you're just talking to Jeff. Now yes, not with me. That's very true. Please leave me out. When you go in a relationship, it. people don't own you. And you don't own people. Wait, so nobody not gonna talk to you now? Well Jeff, if they don't talk to you now, they they, they didn't want to be a friend, babe. Uh, they just didn't because Exactly, see Martin they talk to you. I have a little one friend now. Snitten they talk to you, Brock the whole room in here talk to you. No, it's, I just think that it's just really, I don't want anybody perpetuating that over my life. Jeff don't think it's that serious because nobody said anything ill about him. If somebody saw me somewhere and say, yo, I know why your man taught me down, you know, the first thing I would say is, sir, um, my boyfriend is not a lunatic <laughs> to see me here having a normal conversation and come. I think it's because people just think that they own it's other people. not okay. And this whole concept of owning people, I don't own your Jeff, boyfriend. And he doesn't own me. And we can all have fruitful relationships outside of each other. Like shit. I have lots of friends. Right now, may I try and narrow it down? Like, for From real. the two where you already have? Facts. No, that not good. I have to... <laughs> you have up your game, girl. Big, big for 2020. <laughs> girl, you have to stop talking to people right now. People at pool. 2020, girl. Oh, God. Read my signs. How long time um, I use my phone? Daniel, you were just using the phone to crop it says like 10 minutes. You compromise, you trust each other. Enough people not trust people, you know? So, man, at this point, I don't I'm wondering know. why you're in a relationship. I remember when I was with my ex-boyfriend, and I was like, you trust me? He's like, enough to be with you. I mean, I say, whoa, you know, look away. And he's like, to be fair, I don't trust anyone completely. Like, the one person, but they trust completely, she dead. Facts, so, retweet. No, but I don't know. Should you trust anybody completely, though? I don't know. You think that's normal? A lot of people feel like when they're giving somebody like, someone like your complete trust, you're being like really vulnerable to them and stuff like that. I don't know. I feel like you can trust people, but I don't think there's anybody that you should trust completely. Because you never really know a person. Yeah. You know, and you don't even know yourself. Can, you can switch up. And a person can be a serial killer because I was talking to said person the other day and I was like, do you... We were talking about telling your partner stuff. Like, if you tell your partner everything. And no. he was like, nah, he doesn't tell his girlfriend everything. So I was like, did he tell me everything? And he's like, um, no. I'm going to feel bamboozled. Because right now I feel like, I never did even know you at all. You could have been a serial killer. And you just said, we on the perfect day for just come kill me. And then I was like, you know, you never really know anything about people. And he's you like, don't. you don't. And that's the scary part about, like, Life. Like loving people. Because you don't no, really. Shit. Never mind. I you like re- you really don't know people. But that don't, Mind you, I don't want to scare you guys from love. Love is a beautiful thing. I mean, once once the person isn't like a murderer or anything. But. No, it's an axe murderer. Axe murderer. But, like, I don't think you can trust anybody completely. Like, do you even trust your parents? No. Must you trust your parents? Like, completely? Yeah, no. that like, that's so, so cool. Beautiful. I nah, like, love that though. That is so beautiful. If my I father really tell me say the mom. sky black right now and gotta ask me, me not believe him. Mm-hmm. For sure, yo. I don't, me- I don't agree with them hundred percent, but I but trust, you trust I, them. I trust that my best interest is in their Oh no, me not trust that me mm. My father tell me say what I killed me one time, you know. So from that, me say yo, the man. You know, this sound like a case. They sound yeah. like a case. <laughs> no, but like, I trust my mom 100%. I 
I think the only dead. person I trust, well, trusted. I wouldn't trust one person, you know. And the person is still alive. Mm-hmm. So we actually would have trusted ago. Not the trash. Mm, yeah. Trust the trash. Mommy. My mommy, my child. You don't trust Denzel, though? <laughs> Denzel, why you face like that? What Denzel ever do, yo? All right, never mind. Don't answer that question. That's like the tweet we say, what Jamaican man ever do, yo? Mm. Not it's not that my father ever do me anything, because you know my father always look out for me. But, yeah, man, you see that trust, um, yeah, the complete trust that we're talking about, I really feel like I only feel that way about my mother. And I feel like I'm growing there with, um, my name? Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I feel like, like I start for almost just Jeff 100 percent. How much you which, each know? Which was very frightening. Like 20? What does I ask though, girl? What does I ask? Reach five. You know me. I mean, they like they like 75. That nothing? No? That's a lot. Shit. You yeah. just man so much? Come and love the boy. Right. I'm a never heartbeat. in love yet. Yes. I'm a heartbeat. I'm a everything. Guys. So, I'm going to tell you that this is the year, 2020 is the year for love. Because like, I've Go been... Go look seen... at work. <laughs> no, Go look at work too. Get your money up. up money there. up. Yeah, get your money up. But like, I've been seeing a lot of things that tell me, say, mega fall in love this year. And I say, yo, why people wish this about my life though? You know, the first thing I saw that made me not look at those other things about the year Said I was gonna have a baby this year, so I stopped looking mm-hmm. at those stuff. I saw it by accident. N- negativity. Somebody was like, the first thing you see, the first few things you see is gonna be for you in 2020. The first thing I saw was love, and I just completely shut out. Then he, I just stopped looking, you know, I'm not see anything else. Steve like, Wonder. That's like when the man said to me that I'm gonna be pregnant soon, and I just wanted to cut out my home. Home. My home. Home. Because I couldn't move. Home. Trust home. me. Anything I cut it, I cut out. Only for my tongue. Because <laughs> if tongue could have read, I take it out. Everything. <laughs> Yo, and then the thing is, my cousin Kelly Ray, hi Kelly, saw the tweet about um me, th- what I'm waiting for this year is a baby. And she's like, congrats guys, on attack Jeff. And then somebody comment, your, your co-worker from Flo, comment and was like, this person wants nothing good for you. And I'm like, mood. Because out? if somebody... His handle is Rewind. Oh, yeah. yes. What's his real name? Kurt. Yes, Kurt. That's my daughter. Day. Yes. But she, he's like, this person don't want anything good for you. And I'm like, facts, because how could I have a baby? I'm not married. No. The joke is, for my month, he said, an engagement. So. Like a party. Almost so. And or an, the ones event, on my page. Or an engagement on your page. Yes. yes. So it's an engagement. So I was like, yeah, man, I embrace this. Then he goes. Who are you gonna? She's like, Yo. you want to be engaged? This then he said, there's only one person I could be engaged to, because that's the only person I know enough about to be engaged. I ripped up Nita Nita shreds and I'm like, I'm sure you're not going. One to whole go. day of ripping to shreds, guys. I'm like, I'm sure you're not going to go and pick up no dirty footboy off of the road. No, no axe murderer for because say you're yeah. gonna married because you don't know the person. So what you gonna about somebody in one year? Hmm? Nothing. Nothing you don't know. So, you know, me start getting mad now because, you know, I'm very easily agitated. She's easily bring girl. So, yeah. I mean, I make my friends sign over her life to no stranger. That's very true. Next thing you know, so then you can't see me again because the man locked me up in one cage. Can you imagine? Fair? And I um, feed your food through, through the door. Hold on now. There's a part two to the R. Kelly thing. I have to go watch it. Same. Guys, I tell you, say, I love these sick, twisted things. Um, For 2021, I'm going to change. But for right now, we too much hot things are going on. Too much hot things are going on. I can't get up for 2020. But I have to watch the R. Kelly part two thing. I wonder what is in it. I mean, if you see a trailer or something. But from me about R. Kelly and Lifetime, I'm watching it. Okay. I mean, I need no more details. I'm Robert sick Kelly! Of the, sick of the boy gone. Person. Do you know that video? With the person saying, Robert Kelly, they don't got you? No. They yeah, was like, your ass is going to jail. <laughs> they start, they're like, that way. Them niggas gonna fuck you. <laughs> and then she's like, you bet you that. won't be pissing on another one. Do you know? I have to say in that video. No, no, that no. video no. is one of my favorites. R. Kelly is probably one of the top tier sickest persons of our lifetime, okay? And to see him nabbed gave nabbed. me some satisfaction. I'm mm-hmm. telling you the truth. They said nabbed. Nabbed. They nabbed him. Don't be an R. Kelly, guys. Don't Yo, act like can you imagine say somebody really had take out? No, not somebody. 
Can you imagine that there are people out there taking out them unana piss pan people? Yes, it happens right here in Jamaica. It's happening like every day, like right now, somebody's getting piss pan like across the world. Like somebody somewhere is being and peed on. on. Like, are you mad? Imagine a man. Remember the, the, the article anyway, where the girls shot the 10 grand and man shit snatches? Netanya, I saw somebody comment this and I thought it was dark at first, but I realized that's probably what I would do. The girl said, when I don't stab him in the in them bottom? Yeah. Non-stop him would end up dead. On jet stop. Because my thing is from the man really set up himself like a uh, squat. Come me say I can't stand up and shit. You know, and I say I want baby. A baby alone, me say can like stand up comfortably and just shit and go along. From your grown Because I want a solid adult, shit. You have, understand that's even solid shit. For your grown, you have to do a little stoop. So a man really stoop over my chest. When, when me, I do over my chest, I stoop. First of all, when me don't push my foot in my body, Right? This shit come through mouth. Let me hear where Brookie really goes. No, no, Brookie, let me tell you. Free. The man said to her that he wanted to try something different. She said, okay. They did not discuss a rate. Right? And they didn't discuss what it was. That's where she go wrong really and truly. You know, because yeah, if, if me and you are doing business, I, agree for it first, I need to know what you're going to do. She said when the man said she want to try something different, she thought he was on a tire up. Because you know that's the thing now. So she thought he was on a tire up. Until she see him over my stoop, and then two twos the two the stoop turn into one shit. Now, we the two what, twos. There, there's so many ones before that. It cannot be two twos. There's so many ones before it. Then when him done shit on her now, she get the ten grand. Now, Rakim, do you think that ten thousand dollars is suffice? It's Jamaican dollars, you know. <laughs> Rocky, stop. <laughs> I'm at my place of employment. Don't let me scream out. 10,000 Jamaican dollars is enough for somebody to receive a chest of shit. Me wouldn't even take a kiss for 10 grand. I didn't even kiss cake. Not 10,000 dollars. Not even a hug. Anybody wants a hug right now pay me 100,000. 100 million. Then again. Oh, chest? There's no so amount the, of money. The 10 grand, you, the 10 grand Jamaican you give me can't even cut up my chest and give me like a skin grab. A new so chest. You can get some new chest. My thing is, though, hear what? No amount of money in this world could make somebody shit on my chest. Then we read one story now, you see? We start with, we start with hygiene, healthy relationships, no matter talk about shit. But anyways, there was a story about a, a husband and a wife and a man say, yo, him bored in sex and him want more, him want more. And then more the woman what? was like, all right, let's try more something front? new. Then now, no, the woman did bored. And the man just said, Artie, right, will try something new. And the woman wanted him to shit in her mouth. And the man said, when the, the shit, the right for drop out and bottom. And him looked down and him see how eager she is to take it up. He was so startled. Like he might try to squint for catch it up, but, but like a piece drop. And she ate his shit and him said him run going back in bedroom and was crying. So the man was depressed. The man in her bed, I cry, and she come and she's like, what happened to you? And he must say, him can't kiss her again, him can't see her again, him say, I want a divorce, because him don't know how. He make, she make this him is why you don't marry people after a couple months, because <laughs> if she didn't take, if he didn't take the time for know this lady, he could have shit in her mouth. And... <laughs> it's called scat play. What? Scat Place. Matthew, Matthew one wet name, cut in a man. Could I scat, scat, skank, anything, chronic throated. Me don't want to hear it. Listen, so he make she make him catch on the side of the tub and stoop and she lie down on the floor what? and with her mouth open. What? Which way read this? I don't remember. Miglis? I'm sorry. No, like. No, I was not in the Middle East. <laughs> You sick me. <laughs> Yo. Wait, now I have a question. A couple years ago, I was talking to one of my friends. A couple years ago, when I was a pretty messed up person, I didn't care about a lot of things or people you guys like see that. that feel? I wanted the best of both worlds. So I came up with this theory that your love life is different from a sex life. Mm -hmm. Right? So you can have feelings for somebody, you know, light them up. They with them, but like your sexual behavior and sexual interest are different things. Do you think those things are separate or they're like one thing? Because then after I was talking about it, I read my friend sent me an article with this couple said that they go to sex parties and they have sex with completely different people. 
and them, but they know that at the end of the day, them love each other and they're married too. So at the end of the day, they love each other because they know that their sex life is different from their love life. <laughs> Do you think your sex life and your love life are two different things or you think that they all come under one thing? Well, everybody in there looks frightened. I think this is an advanced class. <laughs> no, honestly, I don't have anything to say. So it might be above me. Uh, no. Do you think that they can be separate though? I've never attempted. You should try. No, not no, we know, not with Jim. With Jim? <laughs> That's a no for me. I just said not no. Oh, okay. Like, I mean, in So case... when? In our one next life, because. <laughs> we never any reborn. We must. We must come back as a butterfly, butterfly because. If I had to come back as. If I had to come back as one person, who would it be? Kim Kardashian. Jeff, of course, you know my answer because you're my partner and you know everything about me. Can you please rich, allow everybody A rich else? white man? A rich white woman's host mm-hmm. That's so true. I'd come back as Kim Kardashian. Who would I come back as what you mean? You never thought it before? I'd have definitely come back as Kim Kardashian. Who do you come back as? <laughs> me? Watch her, watch her, watch her. Oh, sorry. I don't see the more. Who would I come back as? Oh, Mackenzie. Oh. Say your love, man. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> sorry, guys. I have nothing to do. Yo. I have nothing. No, I have You see, last guys, night, I, not I was saying to me. somebody, as Jeff said, you said Jeff love, man. Jeff saying just want money without working for it. Men, nobody love a money, man. More than man. More than man. Mr. Richel tweeted at myself. That's so true. Last night, when we got out, the man them would have run down the... Men of status, put it in quotes, because I don't know these people. And just because I don't know them, don't mean that they don't do something with them life. Um, and I'm like, it's just so sad to see because when women talk to these men, they like they degrade and tear down these women. And I'm like, it's only because they don't have a vagina. Can I make them ever have, have a right vagina? Pony grung it there. Um, Not the pony them concrete creator. My thing is, these no, men are whores. They are money man whores. They're I'm gonna ask Christ. They are. Because if the man would have F them, they would have fucked the man. I'm gonna ask Christ again. I'm gonna ask Christ to say for them. I'm gonna say, who else me not ask? Jesus. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. I'm gonna ask God. I'm gonna ask me. I'm gonna ask Joseph. Girl, I'm not even gonna ask Moses who take the Ten Commandments. The man I love, man. And I'm free for, um, Make people know, but we know. We know. We know. We know that you guys love and me. And take it to the Lord in prayer. Mm-mm. Go to the foot of Jesus and just start praying. That no me say for both to him, you know. Who is wild? Who is wild in our men who love? Oh, whoops. I said the same thing. The niggas. Oh, oh. the niggas. As in, but, you know, say all walk on. You know, you talk to me, I still think about coming back as Kim Kardashian. No. Uh, let me say because I'm so in love with Kanye West. I don't want to come back. I mean, I come back as Oprah. Dog. Oprah. I think you should come back as Oprah. Hear me like this is a raffle. But I think you should be Oprah. Yeah, I want to be a shot Oprah. You would. Nah, I nah, think nah. you'd be a, a nice Oprah. Dog or Oprah best friend, Gail. Exactly. I think you should be Oprah. Oprah loves Gail and her dog so much. Her, she's giving her money to her dog, you know? Yo, Martin is on it. The dog. Her, she, I, I Martin's swear she's like, giving I'll her money to her dog. The dog. None of the pressure, all of the love. True. Or... When I come back oh my as God. Um, I love TV Kim host, so much. A morning show host like Reese and Kelly. And I think mm-hmm. me and I'm Kim have wait. a lot in common. Don't laugh. How you and Kim have a lot in common? Because we're very soft and always when people take advantage of us, we love the same type of men, clearly, because she married Connie. Mm-hmm. She loves having lots of kids. I want Jeff, lots of Kanye? kids. I, I said I love Connie West. Um. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> whose picture is going to be going over my bed very soon? Nope. Jeff says no as if to say him. Even Pay a mortgage okay. up on my ends. Cool. So, <laughs> up a <laughs> Yo, my favorite thing is when Jeff Kanye is, is, is everything in life. And I would definitely want to be Kim Kardashian and all those kids because Kim is actually wants a big family. Me too, sis. Oh my God. And I want to adopt time and all I that compared stuff. to Kim Kardashian was when. I love kids. I lost my what diamond my earrings. And I was like, I, I lost. enough kids. Hmm? And so the only time I ever went compared to Kim. Is when, you lost it? when I lost my diamond earrings. And I was like, I lost my diamond earrings. And I was crying in Russia. And I was like, there are people in the world dying, Kim. 
I know so traumatized. I love Kim. Like she's such a sweet person, and people don't get to see that side of On her. Her often. And I don't know. Like I love Kim Kardashian, and like if I should ever pick like a fake real family, I would pick them. I think they're so awesome. I know that you guys are gonna go ham in the comments and ham in my mentions. I don't give a fuck. Like me no Kim before me no Uno. So anyway, that's guys, fine. pack it up. We're not talking about Kim Kardashian anymore. Or Daniel Jenner, whatever you want to name. No, I'm the only Jenner. Anyway. Yeah. So I'm the OG. So it's it's Daniel Kardashian. When I just started joining Twitter, my name was Daniel Kardashian. She show you that is long time I obsessed because I joined Twitter from like Jesus just got be You're a crazy. Long fan. time ago. You're Joe. Anyway. <laughs> That's it's a period. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope Goodbye. you learned something from this, this ramble. Because guess what happened? We don't, we don't really talk about what we talk about, you know? Mm. This idea we spoke about Because you're going things. to look for your, your picture. And that is where everything yeah. fell off track. Can you leave me here to talk by myself? No. Truth is, I'm tired. I wanted to Options see some. Are few. I wanted to see some of the people them got. You showed me some of the pictures. And they were? I'm not commenting. <laughs> anyway, guys, so you can follow Bye, us guys. on social media. At Next Chat Podcast on everything. Follow me at Next Jenna and Daniel at Daniel Rene underscore. Follow our YouTube, my couple YouTube page. My couple Check out my couple tube. Live with Jeff and Den. Lots of new content coming soon, guys. Big up Jamaica Podcast Network. Big up my new financial journey. So I'm going to big up the earning season. I have a big up Martin every single time. Big up Dan H. Dan I H. Up, Isn't it Danai? H Danai. Why do you have dyslexia to us? Big, big Shit. 2020. Randy? Big up Randy. Randy is the easier name. Oh, exactly. I just can't get Danai, but not Randy. Randy. Big up Randy still. Big up Bam. Big up Bam. I feel like, big feel like when you, you know big when. Big up Rush Cam all the time. All the time. Martin. And Grand Perry. Manala. Martin, what's your friend name again? Rex. 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 Yeah, Rex Saril. Hold yeah. on, no? You know this feel like? You know when the girl them they dance and then a long time they depend dance each other. Yeah! Big up my big father! Yo! And they never have no underwear, by the way. Big Facts. up Brookie in a studio. Yeah, that's, you know live studio boyfriend audience. name? Brookie? Or well, them left now, but... Oh, him not dead though. <laughs> I said them left. Uh, oh, okay. No, if him dead, I said, but him dead now though. Oh, okay, cool. Remember one time, my cousin cause of my auntie and said, that's why a man dead, just to get rid of um, from you. Yeah, I say, yo. Big up Kimo, I heard this so far. Yes, Kimo, birthday is on Tuesday. Big up, um, Tina. Hi, hey, hey, hi, Tina. Tina. Hi, Tina. I can't see you behind the lights, but big, big up. Big up, yes, big up, Ufu, big up, big up, Nick. I'm glad I come out, come see this. I'll be here, you should just go on yes, so. Uh, I'm even if I had someone to chop myself. Big up on the January, baby. Oh, really? Big up, January, drastic up. Big up my best friend Chuck, whose birthday is in a couple of days, and I'm broke like an egg, so you will not be getting a gift until February. Love you, but I'll be at your birthday thing. Yeah. Brafas. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna stop Brafas. I hear you come, stop drinking rum. Anyway, bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs>